Hello, this is Rodolfo Silva, and let's talk about ZModeler on ZBrush for iPad. So ZModeler is ZBrush's solution for low-poly box modeling. And to access ZModeler, all you have to do is go into your brush palette, and you can find ZModeler over here, either by pressing the Z letter on the right side, or going all the way down on our brush folders to topology and clicking ZModeler. Now, ZModeler is a brush, but you can think about it as like a mode. You're in box modeling, low polygon mode now. You can see your UI here on the left-hand side has changed. ZModeler is all about speed and efficient workflows, meaning that there's no actual selection of geometry. So in essence, ZModeler depends on your hover states, which means that it's contextual to whatever you're hovering over. So if I'm hovering over this polygon, I can interact with this polygon. If I hover over this edge, I'm interacting with that edge. Let me turn on polyframe so you can see what's going on. And if I hover over this point, I'm interacting with that point. Now to change what sort of action ZModeler is going to do in each one of these three components, you can access these little buttons over here on the top left corner, right below your ZModeler brush. And let's go to our polygon actions, for example. Right now it's set to extrude. So over here on the left, you have your actions and you have it categorized by what they're actually gonna do. So we have the modeling actions, the topology actions, the transform actions, and the selection actions, and then we have other. Now, once you select an action, this will be the action you will do every time you interact with a polygon. So for example, I just set it to inset. Now over here on the right is our target. Like what is it that you're going to inset? So if I inset a single poly, for example, I'm insetting that particular polygon. Now, while I'm holding my Apple Pencil or my tablet pen on that polygon, you can see I'm still dragging my pencil on that polygon, I can tap Alt and change the polygroups of that particular polygon and inset. Now, in this case, now, if I want to add a couple of edge loops, for example, around here, I could just interact with the edge going around like that because my edge actions is set to insert single edge loop. Now, let's say I want to inset, for example, on this entire polygroup. I can go to my polygon actions, and instead of setting the target to single poly, I can go down here and set it to polygroup island. Now this is gonna look at this polygroup color or polygroup ID. So that action is gonna be applied to that particular polygroup as long as it's contiguous. So let me showcase how that works. You can see I'm in setting the entire polygroup island and I can still tap Alt to change my polygroups. So this was an introduction to ZModeler. I hope you enjoyed this video and I'll see you in the next one.